Bonjour tout le monde et welcome back pour une autre épisode de Grand Prix Series. Uh, je m'appelle Richard. J'ai toi. I don't know, host. And the grammar's awful. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the finale of the 150cc Grand Prix Series. Uh, we unlocked something last time. I don't think we've used Bowser Jr. yet. I don't think. I think we used Dry Bones, but I don't know if we used Bowser Jr. So, uh, somebody actually requested for me to use Wendy. I will use Wendy for that person. I hate Wendy. We're gonna use the Waddle Wing. We're gonna go Absurdity here. We're gonna go with Cushion. And uh, we're gonna go with the Prancer. There you go. That's today's setup. Three things that I haven't used yet. Uh, unless I wanna go with the Tri Speeder or the Cat Cruiser. Should we go Cat Cruiser with Wendy? I suppose so. And uh, just a quick look. That's today's stats. Beautiful, eh? Oh, yum. Alright, let's get going. Last one. It's my. Some of my favorites and some of my least favorite tracks. We got Super Bell, we got Neo Bowser, we got Ribbon, we got Big Ol' Blue. This one's being recorded on th Wednesday night, actually, still, so. This'll be, this'll be going up on Saturday. Did I say the last video is going up on Saturday? Because this is actually the one that's going up on Saturday. Anyway, let's get started here. Got some Neo Bowser. This is a, uh, this is a fun track. What is that horn? Oh god. Should really start using the Inklings more. They're a good weight class for this game and they're actually pretty fun to use. So we got Daisy using the Cat Cruiser along with me. This feels great. Oh my god, that handling though. And traction actually is pretty high. Alrighty. Uh, so how have you been? Don't know what I'm going to do after this. I of course, oops. I of course could do 200cc right away. What I think I want to do though is uh, space out. I was gonna say if that's the third one for me, well, then I guess the game truly didn't want me to win. Uh, I'm gonna go for a coin. I'm actually gonna go for two. Woo! Daisy, huge mistake. Get out of my face, and now I have an air horn in first. Um. Not quite sure what I want to do here, because like, whoops, um, I wonder if that's faster, that still feels like the best way to take that turn. Oh, I got my air horn stolen from me, that's rather unforge. Uh, 200cc, I could, I'm probably not going to do every day, because I've already been doing daily for like a decent amount of time here, and I feel like these videos could get really repetitive, especially if... You know, I've already just done all of the tracks at 150, 200, it's not going to be that different. So I might spread them out a bit, I'm going to actually start playing online, I'll start the road to whatever. Um, your comments were, uh, were very spread out. A lot of people wanted a road to 10,000. Whoa. A lot of people wanted a road to 10,000. A lot of people were interested in the uh, quest for the crown. Some people wanted to see battle mode. Which I completely support, because, you know, it's actually different in this game. And that might be part of, like, because the thing is, Quest for the Crown is very open-ended. Quest for the Crown could be, today we're doing Quest for the Crown in battle mode. And then the next day it could be, let's go back Quest for the Crown for online. So it, it doesn't really tie me down, like, oh, the series is over, because we got to 10,000. series can be over whenever I want it to be over. Which is why, I personally, I would have preferred that. But if you guys wanted to see a designated Road to 10k, I can absolutely do a Road to 10k. Um... And yeah, I'll probably start doing that. I still want to continue Road Beyond and MK8, because that game's actually quite fun to play. So you got MK8, MK8 Deluxe, and you still got the 200cc cups, and then you still got Breath of the Wild as well. Like, oh my, ay ay ay. It's a lot of content all going up at once, and of course I still need to do real life things, because real life hasn't gotten any less busy. Do I still have Auto Accelerate on? Good to know I could have been not holding A that whole time, whatever. R.I.P. Baby Daisy. I was gonna say, there's no way that reds for me. Someone had to have passed Baby Daisy in that time. Whew. Let's see if I can do Nisk in this game. I was trying to hold it to charge a UMT. I kinda figured it wouldn't be possible, but I wanted to try. Because this is the kind of place where you try that. You don't try that online. 
I can't believe that red shell followed me through the shortcut. Ba -na 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 -na. Yeah, look at that little hop to set me back straight. I'm just gonna red that green away because I can't see it and I knew I'd be catching up to Daisy because it's a computer player and they probably have terrible lines of bad driving. And the last thing I wanted was to get trailed. And I got trailed anyway. I kind of assumed that was about to happen. I believe, what, what, where was I to go? So. Man, I actually really need shrooms. Never mind, Daisy fell off. Jesus, the computer is just very forgiving in this game. It's also like kind of ruthless. Like you can obviously easily pass it. Just, just showed. Nice, okay. Have a little bit of breathing room. But like when the computer wants to fuck you, it really fucks you. Like I was sitting there start a lap three with one coin in like third. It's like, what happened? Ugh. What well, what happened is Ribbon Road. Ribbon Road's not exactly the most forgiving track. Uh, that trick is probably way faster in this game. You can trick off the edge of the road there as you're doing the misc. And I bet you in this game it is genuinely faster to get that weird little trick that propels you forward. Just because uh, tricks are a lot better and it just increases your speed, obviously. Anyway guys, we've done 47 perfect perfect races in a row. Let's see if we can go 48 for 48. Let's see if we can go 96 for 96. And then we can go to Mirror and we can do... Uh, 96 plus 48 would be 6 less than 150, so 144 tracks. Good lord. Oh, did I say this is our last race? Uh, way to jinx it. It's my favorite track-ish. Ish. It's actually another track that I've time tried like two tracks in this game, like a lot, and this is one of them. The two tracks being MKS and this one. I actually kind of like this track in uh, in Deluxe. The problem is, is it's kind of precise. Time tried it for like three hours and only got like five seconds from five seconds, like three seconds from world record. Ugh. But, whatever. I bet you if you UMT, you could do that shortcut literally faster than going around. Maybe. I don't know. It's still kind of sketchy. Okay, Wendy. You can stop bouncing around like a pinball at any time now. Good lord, this game. Okay, you can stop bouncing into the off-road when I do my hop there. I need rollers and a, a cruiserweight bag. Also, I don't know why I hopped there, because it's going to make getting this UMT impossible. Not playing well. Not playing well at all. Alright, I'm going to try for a UMT here. Not going to get it. Not even close. That still might be faster than going around, especially because you can't fire hop that SMT. Did anyone else catch that air? It'd be hard to see because I was inked. But I seriously just got so much air. The cushion tires and the monster tires, any of the big tires will give you random air at the worst times. I can't believe I didn't get a UMT there. That was definitely the corner to get the UMT. Set up perfectly for it. Oh well, I have enough bananas here to just kind of mess around with them. Now we truly are. One race from finishing it all. Let's go. God, Wendy is ugly. Did you see that face she was making? Looks like a black hole Dyson vacuum kind of thing. It looks like a hoopa. You got the rings on the arms and then you got like, ugh, ugh. Big Blue. Do you know Big Blue's final stretch is literally straight up in the air you're driving? You're driving vertically, you're getting abducted. Very cool, right? All right, let's go. The race starts so quickly. I guess we don't have to wait for anyone to unlag themselves, but seriously. I don't remember what you're supposed to do here. I know with UMT, there's a new strat. Something like this. 
maybe, and then release, and then trick. I've watched the video, but I don't study the video, so I have no idea if that was correct or not. But I do know it's some form of UMT and then going up to get coins. You probably go tight on the first corner if you're going to go up to get coins. Yeah, of course you would. So I just, yeah, whoops. And I know here you do, like, out here to get... Or is that, am I thinking of the 200cc one? I might, because yeah, that, was, that would be where you go the 200cc cut. I don't know. Game's fucked. It's all weird. Nice that they put a double item box, like, right on the proper line. It's not faster to hop on these anymore. Nice, trip nanas too. The game giveth and the game taketh away. And right now the game is givething. Uh baby daisies. Look at the look at the spread outness of that. I was trying to wait back at that boost panel and time it, but then I'm like, wait, no, that's not gonna work. Help. And then I then by the time I realized it was too late. Um I was gonna say, Baby Daisy's actually like right fucking behind me and everyone else is so far away. What a weird rubber banding game. Oh, there you go guys. Perfection across the board. What- Hey, hey, what do you say? That's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. All wrapped up. In a bell shell. Despite what we're looking at not exactly being the pinnacle of perfection, we are. And for that, I bid you adieu. Until next time. See ya. Did we really get the credits? That's hilarious. I used to watch these credits every so often. Mario Kart 8 credits. Just because I'd always just kind of sit back and be like, I just, I, I just played one of the best, most deep racing games I'll probably ever play, and it's a Mario Kart game. Did the developers have any idea what they were doing? And in this game, I'm just sitting here like, you created an arcade racer that's pretty boring. <laughs> so, I can't skip them. None of the buttons are skipping them. Help! Guys, I really actually have to watch these. I'm hammering plus and it's not working. Oh my god, you actually have to watch the credits once. Help! So I would just like to talk about these credits for one quick second. There are obviously new clips included because some of these clips have included DLC characters. And none of these clips so far have included any characters specifically from Deluxe. There's been no Inkling Girls, there have been no carts just from Deluxe. And there have been absolutely uh, no new characters, like no King Boo, etc. But I'm pretty sure most of this is filmed on 8 as well. Like, all these tricks people are doing, like that one, is really slow. It doesn't look- like, I'm pretty sure this is Mario Kart 8 footage. Just, like, I understand that you wouldn't refilm at all, because this is the same credits as before, just with, like, I don't know, edit this four-second clip with a four-second clip of a DLC. But, like, literally, I'm pretty sure this was all filmed on Mario Kart 8, because not a single thing so far has made me go, oh, that's deluxe, like, that was an 8. There we go, that's the first thing there was squid right at the end. Unbelievable. That's it. Like, all they did was tack on right at the end, they're like, oh shit, we have this old credit sequence, how can we make it, like, Mark? That's unbelievable. The pinnacle of laziness, Nintendo. Wow. Wow. Recycle, reuse, reduce. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in a fucking nutshell.